Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday the 26th of February. Foreign Ministry refutes report of Indians with Russian army seeking help for discharge. Mariam Nawaz becomes first woman CM of Pakistan, Punjab. And Taliban leader says the appointment for UN envoy unnecessary. And now for all the details. Disputing media reports regarding Indian nationals seeking discharge from the Russian army, India's foreign ministry on Monday said New Delhi has been engaging with Moscow on each case which has been brought to its attention and to the Indian mission in Russia. Terming the media reports as inaccurate, the foreign ministry in a statement said the matter is top priority for New Delhi and it is actively pursuing all the relevant cases for an early discharge of Indian nationals from the Russian army. Several Indians have already been discharged as a result, the ministry said. Earlier last week, India had advised its nationals to stay away from getting involved in Russia-Ukraine war after news reports suggested Indian nationals who had signed up for support jobs with the Russian army were caught in the ongoing conflict. Nationals of many countries have sought work with the Russian army, including from Nepal, which has stopped issuing permits to its citizens to work in Russia and Ukraine until further notice after at least 10 Nepalese were killed in the conflict. Maldives opposition MDP leader Abdullah Shahid on Monday refuted claims of presence of Indian military in the island nation by President Mohammad Muizu and called his allegations another string of lies. In a post on X, Shahid said that there are no armed foreign personnel in the country and the government's inability to provide specific numbers speak volumes. Shahid's comments come in the wake of acquisitions directed at the MDP by Muizu's government, alleging the previous administration had permitted Indian soldiers to be based in Maldives, thereby compromising national sovereignty. The controversy over the Indian military presence has been a focal point of political discourse in the Maldives. However, President Muizu last week announced that an agreement has been signed with India for the withdrawal of military personnel by 10th of May, with the first batch departing by March 10. Moving on, PMLN Vice President Maryam Nawaz, daughter of Pakistan's three-time former Premier Nawaz Sharif, on Monday, scripted history after becoming Punjab's chief minister with 220 votes. 50-year-old Maryam, her father's political heir, is the first woman to be the chief minister of Punjab, a post that has long been stepping stone to becoming the country's prime minister. In her maiden speech, Maryam said her victory is an honour for every woman and wished that the tradition of female leadership would continue in future. The Punjab Assembly Speaker announced the results of the election that was boycotted by the opposition Sunni Itihad Council Party, backed by jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Khan and his allies alleged the February 8 national elections were rigged against them and allegations denied by the country's election commission. In a shocking incident in Pakistan's Lahore, a woman dining at a local hotel became the target of a vicious mob which accused her of blasphemy. The commotion erupted when the onlookers mistook the woman's dress for having Quranic verses printed, which in reality was Arabic calligraphy. She could only escape after police intervened and escorted her to safety. She later gave a public apology. Blasphemy is a highly sensitive issue in Pakistan and is punishable by death. Although no one has ever been executed, blasphemy convictions are most common. Most convictions are thrown out on appeal by higher courts, but mobs have lynched dozens of people in attacks even before a case is put on trial. 
and terming appointment of a UN envoy for Afghanistan as unnecessary, Taliban's Deputy Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed Abbas Tanikzai has said the de facto authorities are powerful and only a representative appointed by them should represent Afghanistan in international meetings. Talking to Tolo News, Stanikzai said there's no need of a special envoy for his country as UN assistance mission in Afghanistan, along with its envoy, is active and cooperating with the authorities in political and humanitarian affairs. A UN special envoy is appointed only for those countries that are in crisis. In Afghanistan, there exists no problem, he was quoted as saying. The comments come a week after the Doha meeting over Afghanistan in which the UN chief Antonio Guterres had suggested the appointment of UN envoy to coordinate engagement between Kabul and the international community. Hip-hop fans broke into exciting b-boy and freestyle dance moves at a hip-hop festival organized by the US Embassy in Nepal this past weekend to celebrate the African-American culture. Artists performed on stage and within groups gathered to passionately cheer and hype up the performers while some painted unique graffiti art on the walls. The 10 day event began on February 16 to honor the history and influence of hip hop culture on its 50th anniversary. Hip hop was born in New York City's Bronx in the late 1970s. The dancing, rapping and DJing elements grew out on inner city environment, but it has since evolved into a multi-billion dollar mainstream global culture. After fresh snowfall in parts of India's Jammu and Kashmir, hundreds of tourists are converging at the renowned ski resort of Gulmarg to enjoy the excitement of riding gondola cable cars. Providing an unforgettable experience amid stunning surroundings, the gondola rides are compared to those found in European countries. With sweeping views of snow-covered mountains and verdant forest, tourists express their delight. They highlighted the allure of gondola cable car rides, recommending it as an essential activity in one's lifetime. I'm seeing Kashmir for the first time in winters and it is absolute heaven. Absolute. We came to Kashmir four years back. We came to summers. Mein the. Summers ka apna maza hai, but winters is a must visit. Gondola ride and the view hai, it is mesmerizing. Worth the visit. Gulmarg is also a favorite spot among tourists to try out adventure sports like ice skating, skiing, gliding and racing. Earlier this month, a lack of snowfall had led to empty ski resorts and holiday cancellations, with scientists linking the unusual winter to the El Nino weather phenomenon. Sir, practical photos, videos, me aara tha Kashmir me baraf nahi ho rahi hai, ye nahi ho raha hai, wo nahi ho raha hai. Ham log bhi thode tense ho gaye the pehle. Ke kya hoga ham log? Lekin bola yaar, dharti ka swarg bola jata hai, kuch to milega. Aur luckily, hamara Bhagwan ne saath diya ke ham yaha aaye aur snowfall chure. Aur jo jannat yaha pe dekha hai, aur gandola. तो क्या बताऊं इसके बारे में मतलब स्विट्जरलैंड का गंडोला फेल है कश्मीर के गंडोला गंडोला के सामने। That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India, breaking news and views from India.